good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. Race number five on the card, first leg of Jackpot 1, get your bets on by 25 past 2. This is a middle stakes of the 2,400 metre trip where you just need to look at the best weighted column to see the horses that are, will give a good account of himself here. And if we just go to the column, flying first class, two points clear of number one, the cop who's a point clear of Reza Hallelujah, who is then a point clear of number four, Lamborghini, and number five, Arlington Action. Now, Dees, there's... Three horses in this race that won at their last start. Number mm. one, the cop. Number two, Reza Hallelujah. And number three, Flying First Class. Let's start with the cop. One and a half cages off the back. Drawn in gate number one. Back at Turfontaine, a track that he has won twice at from his nine starts. He's yet to win over the course and distance and distance. But how, you, how do you think he could shape up given the way he ran on last time out to get the better of Aquasulas on KZN Breeders' Day? As I mentioned in the previous race, you touched on it. One and a half kgs off. What was the penalty last time out? 85 to an 89, which is invariably two kgs. Personally, I think the horse just got a half a kg penalty for winning last time out with Rachel claiming one and a half kg. So that is a massive plus. And I think a smart move from Sean, just taking that penalty out and making it a half a kg. Now, it was a KZN Breeders race over 1900 meters and they won a very good race, but uh, you know, what did it beat? Uh, th that's the big question for me. You know, those races are very skewed with the weights. You get a horse that's clear with, uh, you know, with the rating and then you find most of the horses under sufferance. But nevertheless, won well. Razor, hallelujah, last start. Uh, you know, look at this rating. 91, this horse. Won in a field rated 91. What is the average rating here, Rayo? 76. Oh. I mean, Down in class, big time. Big, big, big time, big time. And, you know, the stable's in good form. Uh, 1,400 to 2,400, no issue for the horse. I think you have to, demands the utmost respect. And a big plus is that Cabello gets on exceptionally well with this individual. Raise hallelujah. Then I come to flying first class. And the first comment I'm going to make, in fact, with these two horses, numbers three and four, uh, the fully flying first class, she's in superb form. She's a seven-time winner. I think that she is very, very well handicapped here as a seven-time winner with a rating of 78. And then Lamborghini, Paul Peters runner, you know, with a rating of 74. You compare what he's done compared to Arlington Action, who's just, what's it, four pounds or two cages inferior. And then this horse, number four, Lamborghini. I think both these horses, numbers three and four, what I'm trying to say is they look to be ahead of the handicapper. And uh, number three, flying first class. She's my top choice in the race. She's a PA banker for me as well. With just 53 and a half kgs on uh, the back, weight can tell over these uh, staying trips. And I think flying first class should be uh, a bit too uh, good here with just 53 and a half on the back, receiving weight from the top two in the market. And of course, beating Lamborghini last time out, who she does have held at the weights. Course and distance suited. Calvin Abib, six rides, three wins, one second, two thirds. I think flying first class, the horse to beat, followed by number two, Reyes Hallelujah. Number four, Lamborghini, and then I'll include number one, the cop for those trifectas and quartets. These, how many numbers in uh, the pick six and jackpots for you? I think to be safe, you're going to have to go one, two, three, four in a bet like the pick six and the jackpot as well. Uh, but then again, you'll tell me, these, it's four out of six, what you doing? So maybe I'm just going to narrow it down to three horses and I'm going to eliminate one of them. If I had to eliminate one of them, I'm going to eliminate the four. So Because I'm going against the betting here. Uh, my top two choices are two to beat one, uh, two to beat one and three. And then my fourth choice is number four, which I will be eliminating in the pick six. Well, there you heard it from Dees. His top choice, number two, raise hallelujah. And my top choice, number three, flying first class. So maybe some exactors could be the way to play. Race number five. The betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's, uh, it's really, it's uh, in my opinion, one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Yeah. 